Okay, this is kind of a dramatic results that I'm getting from this. I'm um, running FT8 just to, to see, uh, or to, just to demonstrate. I'm not running FT8, I'm just listening to FT8. But uh, I wanted to put out a quick video to show you the dramatic results I'm seeing. Uh, uh, what you're seeing right now is uh, me, uh, if you look at the uh, the configuration of the flex, you'll see that uh, uh, I'm set up the red, the red ANT1 is the DX Commander and RXA is my newly installed loop on the ground. So with the loop on the ground, um, which I'm receiving on right now, you can see uh, um, I'm running around uh, 90 dB of a noise level. That's uh, equivalent to about a, maybe an S3 or so. Anyway, I'm going to switch it over to the DX Commander and you'll see what my noise floor normally is. Uh, as you can see, I've jumped quite a bit uh, and it's extremely painful. I mean, uh, the signals are showing at 20 dB over S9. Uh, that's true. However, uh, there's uh, I'm not getting the dramatic results I did, or, or the, the the noise floor that I'm getting uh, with the loop on the ground. So I think uh, the loop on the ground in this case has made a dramatic uh, reduction in my noise, as you can see. I'm still hearing the signals just fine. They're getting picked up and. Uh, uh, you also are noticing over here in this one case, uh, I've got some noise at 7068, uh, some kind of internal noise probably, or uh, it could be left over from the power lines. But uh, when I go to antenna one, I mean that, that completely gets swallowed up. Um, it's not that it's not there because I can show it to you on other bands. It's just that uh, my noise floor has come up so high that it's drowned it out. So uh, it's just that the DX Commander is good enough that uh, it can really pull those signals out. But uh, uh, to me, that's that's just uh, an incredible uh, drop in the noise floor. So anyway, I thought I'd uh, drop this and. Uh, you know, let y'all take a look. Uh, the loop on the ground is basically built by uh, uh, taking a, a small project box and getting a um, binaural tor toroid. Um, currently, uh, towards the radio, um, I've got uh, 12 turns uh, coming back towards the radio. And then from the loop on the ground, I've got three turns. So I've got a three to uh, 3 to 12 or a 4 to 1 basically transformation going from the loop on the ground up to the radio so uh, it slightly amplifies the signals probably not much but um, you do the kind of the same thing with a beverage um, I don't know exactly how much wire I've got out right now it's more than the normal 60 feet uh, it might be as much as 80 it may be as low as 65 feet but it's definitely uh, not the 15 by 15 that you normally do, but it definitely, um, it's a loop around uh, inside the backyard. Uh, I could certainly make a much larger loop. I might do that in the future now that I've got the transformer built, but uh, just wanted to let you know this is a very, very, very easy build. And uh, I was kind of skeptical. I, you know, I'm always skeptical when I build something that it'll work, but I don't know. I'm, I'm calling this working. Um, anyway, uh, again, just wanted to drop uh, a quick video and uh, uh, show you the, the results that I'm getting. Uh, this is Don in 5SKT.